Two adventurous young ladies who were out hunting for Jasper at a place called Lavic Siding found far more than they bargained for. The girls had found some very nice pieces of Jasper, but the photos on their blog revealed something else. Military ordnance and lots of it. Over the course of the previous year, I had filmed the wreckage of three Vietnam-era A-4 Skyhawk jet fighters that crashed in the Lavic Lake volcanic region. But until I saw the girls' pictures, I had absolutely no idea what those jets had been doing out there. The ordnance they photographed, however, made it perfectly clear. The jets had been making bombing runs at a nearby gunnery range, a place that the Marine Corps 29 Palms base calls Tactical Range E. This is a chance for submarines who have never been in such a kinetic environment like this before to get straight into it and start working and pounding that craft to become experts at it. We had artillery with us, which was very critical. We did work with second tanks. They're, they're a huge mechanized force for us to be able to utilize for a support by fire asset, which allows our, our foot mobile troops to be able to close in and actually seize an objective and stand atop that, that ground. And AAVs being able to maneuver and get their reps in also that were helping mobilizing and transpo of uh, all units on the ground. ITX is more of a platform for us to basically identify our discrepancies in the friction point and allow us to further better ourselves going forward and to be better prepared in future conflicts. So what we learned during this training is how to kind of think of new factors as we go fight near-peer, peer adversaries, different threats that we never faced in the past, and just having that different type of enemy threat. 